Hello, my name is Jim. We're here in beautiful Boyce Bonk Island today in the Straits of Mackinac in northern Michigan to discuss North America's largest common woodpecker, the pileated woodpecker. Pileated woodpecker is very distinctive with its features of a zebra striped head and neck. It's got a very long bill and a big red crest on its head. And they're probably 12 to 16 inches tall and fairly large for a wooded, uh, woodland bird. They forage mostly on carpenter ants that they will dig uh, peck holes, large rectangular holes, and as you can see here they're fairly deep in size and they go in there to get the ants and then afterwards these holes are used for other birds to find insects and perhaps even mammals to live in. The drumming that they create while pecking also is used to attract mates and announce their boundaries. The drumming can be anywhere from 14 to 17 second beats per second. And a, a pileated woodpecker, they pair for life and they establish territories of 1,000 to 4,000 acres of which that uh, they live on year, year long. They nest in older and larger trees and sometimes inhabit the holes that they create. The birds have been proven to be adaptable to changing forest conditions. And uh, we were hoping to hear one today. They have a very distinctive loud cacaw sound. Uh, we saw one earlier in flight and heard it, but we didn't get a video of it. But uh, we've got some uh, other holes in an upright tree over here we'd like to go and show to you now. As we get closer, it's not hard to miss a pileated woodpecker hole. They're very large, and as you can see in this red pine, they're very numerous. But you can hear them a long way through the woods. We have another tree over here we want to show you. It's a larger hole. We can zoom in up to there. You can see there's a big knot on that tree and they created a big elongated hole and you can see the pecks clear into the inside of it to get to the bugs and the ants. There's some on the dead tree next to it as well. But uh, they go on deciduous trees and coniferous trees and they aren't very picky on where they make their holes or what they get to eat once they peck in there. Now if you're my age, you might remember a cartoon that had a bird in it. The bird's name was Woody the Woodpecker. The pileated woodpecker inspired the cartoon character of Woody the Woodpecker. And if you go back and look at the cartoon, you'll see the red crest on Woody's head and uh, his funny laugh. As I stated before, the pileated wood woodpecker is very loud and it can be heard through the woods from great distances on a still day. Today, there's one over there. You see it? Pileated woodpecker. See the big red crest on its head? Uh, thanks for viewing our ecosode here on Cool Things in Nature.